Uza. I'm Solo B. Jones, and today we're going to Fiji. I've never been to Fiji before. We went there, go to Hawaii, keep going. Another five hour plane ride, South Pacific. You are on a group of about 300 islands that make up the nation of Fiji. We went to the second largest island, Vinu Livu, and landed in the town of Savu Savu. From there, we stayed at Koro Sun Resort. Koro Sun has survived COVID and has been reopened and ready for guests. The best thing about Koro Sun is the people, the staff. Very friendly. In all of Fiji, we found everyone to be very friendly receptive to tourism and what we liked in particular about Koro Sun is they seem to be walking that fine line of inviting tourism in while maintaining that balance of cultural authenticity. It's a difficult task. They seem to be doing it quite well. You can get on-site demonstrations of palm weaving and coconut demonstrations, beautiful uh, rainforest massage, stand up paddling, kayaking, all the activities you can think of. If you want to just be lazy, hang around the pool, drink drinks and have snacks, you can do that at Coral Sun. Or you can be as active as you want and go for strenuous hikes through the rainforest go to numerous waterfalls, water slides, attend events that visit uh, a neighboring island, Tavuni, and go across the Somo Somo Strait to the town of Somo Somo over the Rainbow Reef for an all-day adventure of seeing the International Dateline, seven cascading natural water slides large waterfall in a preserve and seeing just the local town uh, of Somo Somo. Kosan on Wednesdays has buffet style uh, food preparation of Fijian food which is very interesting and that's uh, currently on Wednesday nights. Uh, dancers, singers from the uh, local village come in and give a wonderful demonstration of Fijian hospitality, and energy. Take it away. Come on, put on your sunscreen, 
put on your sunglasses, grab a hat, because as they say in Fiji, an unripe coconut will burn. And I need a new drink. It is time for the best part of Fiji, in my opinion. We're gonna go snorkeling. Let's go, let's go snorkeling. Ula. We're gonna go snorkeling. We have two snorkeling trips we took, and one was just a five minute ride away from Coral Sun. Beautiful, stunning. Uh, coral reefs, vibrant in every way, fish, shark, turtles, squid. Uh, we saw a lot in a short period of time. The five minute trip away is uh, very easy. You can snorkel for a few hours, uh, guided. Um, can't say enough about it. Second snorkel trip, Natawa Bay, about maybe 30 minute ride away, then a 15 minute boat ride uh, up the Natawa Bay, which is the largest bay in the Fijian Islands. And you can see a couple different styles of coral reefs. One is a, a vertical uh, coral reef right up against the shore, and it was amazing. Didn't know anything like that existed. So that was wonderful. Um, we were there essentially by ourselves, guides, and a couple guests.
after the snorkel trip, we got to enjoy some fresh coconut that were harvested right there on the uh, shore side and watch some uh, rainstorms come in and out. It was a little bit cloudy on Natawa Bay, but still the snorkeling was phenomenal. Good? Yeah, it's very good. <laughs> that is about the best I've ever seen. Oh, look, we get coconut drink. Yep. No way. Wow. Oh my God. Woo! Next, we're going to go to Vodoma Falls on the island of Venu Livu, which is the island we were staying on, Coral Sun. And this was a beautiful uh, short hike in. There's a long, steep road for this uh, village entrance. Our vehicle apparently was an all wheel drive, it can make it in. Some vehicles couldn't, and people had to walk in uh, probably a full mile down uh, 35 degree inclines hot, humid jungle sun to get to the falls, and that would be a very uncomfortable walk out of there. Uh, but with Coral Sun, we were able to get within about a five to 10 minute walk from the falls, very easy. And then the water was warm, beautiful, refreshing. We got to swim there for an hour. There were some small rocks to jump off of. And it was just a stunning setting, uh, very enjoyable. While we were there, we had to ask permission from the uh, village chief leader to enter into that zone. And it, Coral Sun arranged for some kava to be presented. And then we were able to meet some uh, local women who were selling uh, products that they had handmade. A little shark tooth. There it is. A little shark tooth there. Got another little shark tooth there. Look at that. Yeah. Got to pick those things up and uh, have a nice outing to uh, Vodoma, Vodomo Falls. On the way back, we got to go to an overlook, uh, a stunning beauty, uh, stop there, rest area, pick up a smoothie, nice afternoon. One of the major trips we got to take was an all day trip to Taviuni, the island of Taviuni, which is about Oh, maybe a 45 minute boat ride away. So what Coro Sun did is they arranged transportation as a uh, uh, car ride, 45 minutes, maybe a little longer. We crossed the Somosomo Somo Strait to the town of Somosomo, Somo, which is a very cute uh, town. We got to take a trip into the Tavoro Falls. We got to travel through a lot of countryside, see um, many of the villages going by, a little more remote than other areas of Fiji, and then into a reserve and see a larger waterfall, the Tavoro Falls. Uh, a lot of water coming over that. You could do a little bit of uh, diving off of one side. And again, the water was warm, beautiful, swimmable, uh, very luxurious. Coro Sun actually packed in a full lunch. We were able to eat lunch back there, um, had some wonderful lobster rolls, and it was just a fantastic trip. You might get to see the chance of local kids playing in the Waitavala, the Waitavala natural water slide. And it is a series of seven pools cascading one into the other. And you get in at the top and have a nice, ride to the bottom, but safety tip, stop before the ocean. Way to Bala, natural water slide. <laughs> they had an excellent um, 
kids center with kids activities for people with uh, uh, younger children. They also had a kids pool with a uh, nice water slide that was <laughs> fun for the adults too. So we had to invade that once. What else am I forgetting? I gotta put this away. Soon. All right, we did a salt water kayak tour. It's really interesting. There is a large saltwater lake with a river connecting it and it's tide dependent. So current in, current out. They time it so you basically get a free ride on the kayak is what it amounts to. It's nice, um, probably Oola. three or four miles an hour. You just have to put your paddle in once in a while and you're there. Um, so you put in kayak uh, up about oh, 20 minutes, less maybe, and then you enter into a large lake. They have a nice dock set out in the center. You can jump in the lake. Uh, the lake is probably oh, two or three miles across, so it's a large lake. And then you have to kayak over to shore, which is a little bit more active um, overall. Nice trip lasting maybe two hours total. Coral Sun arranges all of that. Overall, Fiji, excellent experience. Highly recommend it if you can get there. Uh, wonderful trip, and we hope to go back. There are a lot of other islands to see. However, starting off, staying at Coral Sun, we felt as though that was a great experience. Tons of activities. Staff was helpful. They had some staff that were uh, naturalists, um, environmental experts. Uh, they had some staff that were very skilled at uh, recreational activities and safety. Um, they had all the gear that you would want to do these activities so you didn't have to pack your suitcase full of uh, fins and snorkels if you don't want to. I should mention just down the road about two miles is a place called Vonger Garden and it is a restaurant two miles away, on open on Friday nights, and a lot of uh, people get together. Sometimes they have music the night we went. They didn't have any uh, live music, but uh, that is very close to Coral Sun and a lot of fun on Friday nights. Um, you'll enjoy their pizza, you'll enjoy their beer. So many things, there were so many things to do. Uh, the kava, the whole socialization uh, and use and history of kava, the kava plant, the kava root, how it's used um, ceremonial as well as very uh, frequent social uh, gatherings for Fijians. It's kind of like having a beer and having a little tea at the same time. Very interesting historical plant. You get to uh, partake in uh, Kaaba, learn about the ceremony at Koro Sun. We did a trip to a cocoa farm and it was a two acre sustainable farm, a small operation, and wow, it was a wonderful educational experience to see uh, some of the history of farming in the Fijian islands, how they are trying to move to a more sustainable, low impact type of farming, and they're making headway. Plus, who doesn't like chocolate, huh? Great chocolate. chocolate. A cocoa mana chocolate moment. Another moment. Third moment. Excuse me. Uh, I enjoyed sharing this video with you about Fiji. I hope this helps you. Uh, I am aiming it towards people who are considering going to Fiji and it's hard to, to look at all these 300 islands and say, where do we go and what do we do? And then what resort do we go to? Do we spend a day at each place and try to hop around and see everything? And I hope this uh, kind of gives you an introduction of 
how we approached it. We really liked using Coral Sun as our home base, trying to see as much as possible. We didn't explore the bigger town of Nandi other than just have some good Indian food one night before we flew out. We'd like to see smaller islands and go to the Mamanukas and other associated outer islands. Banaka. All right, I left the refrigerator door open now. Coco Mana chocolate. Oh, yeah.